Hello everybody, welcome to another craft time. My name is Ruth and today we're going to do this beautiful mason jar bank. How fun is this? Shall we start? Let's start. Materials for this craft, it's going to be easy. You need a mason jar with a lid on it, okay? Uh, brushes, paint, and I'm going to do a rainbow. So you need uh, this color if you want to follow me, or you can do the menu too. So purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and blue. Okay, uh, scissors and construction paper. Okay, what else? Uh, we I need, we needed uh, containers just to mix the colors, right? And that's it. Sure, you have a pencil or marker to trace it. It's very simple. Um, to do this menu, I did it, I used the cup or the bottle any bottle and I just attach a glue, glue eyes with the glue gun and attach this also with glue gun. Uh, I paint it in yellow first twice and then the blue on top and I just do some kind of decorations in there and this is a uh, construction paper that I'm going to show you how to do this okay. Uh, you can choose to do this yellow and blue you know a few materials for this or and or you're going to do the rainbow where I'm going to do the process right now okay. Let's put my camera down. I'm gonna show you what to do first. First, what you have to do with the rainbow, you need to paint the rainbow. So we're gonna use white color and we're gonna paint it. When you paint it, it's better to do twice, okay? So you could place it like that and start painting like this, okay? Or you can just uh, do the other way. I like to do this way just because it's easier to manage. See, my finger doesn't touch the paint, and I just go around like that. Okay. So once you cover this, let it dry because it needs twice. It's better to do twice in this mason jar. Okay. Also, when we do this, okay, we need to also paint the top. To do the top, I'm going to show you just the top of the lid. We don't need to paint in this, but we need to paint in this. Okay. Just go go around with a brush. And start painting okay that's it that's very simple now you need to do twice okay place on the table if you want to or with one finger so it doesn't move okay or just wait for the other parts dry and then finish the little spot so they had to do also twice so let it dry for a little bit and then you can start the other colors okay let's clean up a little bit this i'm gonna do now the one that I already have in is dry, okay? So the next step, after you pass twice, and um, we need to trace this in a construction paper, okay? We need a marker for that. So just go around, okay? Like that, and start cutting that circle, okay? Open and close with your scissors, okay? Open and close. All right. So we're gonna cut the circle, circle, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay once you're done you're gonna fold it in two okay and now you're gonna cut it here a little bit like a little square but very tiny one two and one two and it should be like this and when you open it should be like that all right so we're gonna put this in here in the middle. If it's too big, keep cutting because probably I didn't, didn't cut that well. Okay. All right. Once you uh, finish cutting the circle, okay, and you finish cutting this, you place it there, and that's it. That is done. Okay. Now we need to work in our rainbow. Okay. So for that, I need purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And we need, I'm going to use a bunch of brushes <laughs> just because, you know, just because. And I'm going to use this construction paper to put my, my brushes on there because I will need it again, probably. <laughs> okay, so to start, we're going to do a rainbow here. Um, so my messenger is going to be like this, not like this, right? So I'm going to make sure it's in this way so I can do the rainbow in the middle. Okay, 
So we're gonna do here, we're gonna start with the small color first and then we keep going as we go, okay? So let's start with the purple first. Purple color, yeah. How fun is painting, guys? I like it. And whatever it turns, it's gonna be beautiful. See, purple and then blue. Make sure you start from the bottom of your rainbow, okay? Blue, next, green, good job. <laughs> you guys know the colors. Green, and I go like that. Careful, just like to be, I like to be careful, anything I do. There you go. Uh, when you done the green, the next color will be yellow, okay? Take the yellow okay, and go on top. It's gonna be nice. Go all the way down. Remember you brush, you manage the brush. Paint it and lift it up when you're done. Okay, lift it up. Okay, the next color will be orange. This rainbow is big. <laughs> this rainbow is big and the next color will be a color red yeah red one and that's the last color for the rainbow okay yeah okay i'll be painting upside down so sometimes my rainbow is not that perfect it's okay there you go once you've done the rainbow, now you can do whatever you want, really. This is just an example of what you can do. Okay, you can do a um, Minecraft shape in there. Anything that plays that, you can do it. Or um, anything, any animal that you like, a tiger or giraffe or a piggy. If it's a piggy, you need all pink, right? And some Google eyes and you will make that beautiful piggy, I'm pretty sure. There you go. I'm pretty much done. Yeah, I like to retouch when I do things. So if you like me, take your time. That's what I do. <laughs> I take my time and everything. <laughs> okay, so okay, I'm gonna pass a little more jello here and then make my rainbow is gonna be nice. There you go. Is that cool? Now with the rest of white, if you wanna leave it like that, or you can just do some kind of um, decoration also and go ahead and do some dots or with the same brush just a little bit around like this right um, get in touch like this little dots get some blue in there too if you want okay um, what else we can do oh the, uh, red one maybe red one yeah yeah so it's up to you if you want to finish like that or you just want to leave it like this you know <laughs> i saw some that's really fun for the for the rainbow and after that we remember we place this in here right and what we have to do is just close it be careful because it's fresh the paint is still fresh so. and then just close your piggy bank okay and you can actually start putting some money there Right? I don't have money, but I have some buttons. <laughs> there you go. One, two, three. Maybe you will save money for a bigger thing or something that would you like to purchase it or for a gift for mommy, for daddy, or for you, for the future. Uh, it's up to you. I think it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I really love it. I don't know how to handle it, but look at this. It's so easy. It won't go away. <laughs> Unless you open it, you can also glue it. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you like this craft. I love it. <laughs> you can make many one for bills, one for coins. How about that? <laughs> and you can make another one for wishes too for Christmas. Um, your mom and daddy can open at the end of the year. Who knows? Many things have an imagination. Imagination is unlimited. <laughs> 
So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next craft. Bye bye.